Hey I'm guys, sure. welcome Thanks back to JNO Productions. Um, our second challenge. We have two really good challenges here for today. Uh, my sorry, my controller wasn't working, guys. I do apologize for um, how bad his mic quality is today. You probably it's gonna sound really bad. Um, hopefully y'all can make it past that. I know it sounds horrible, but yeah, guys. So just just a quick warning. But um, yeah. So um, the first card that I have for our first challenge is the Honda Civic Si. Um, I like this thing better than the Type R, especially the Type R from this model year, from 2016, because the Type R is hideous. It's even hideous now, really. And it's just really way too flamboyant, way too many stupid-ass cuts in the bodywork. Red interior looks really dumb, but, um, yeah. So we have a sporty, it's basically just a sporty Civic. I mean, look, if you even open the interior, hold on, let me open the door. Look at that. It's actually normal. It actually looks like a normal car. Um, everything about it looks normal. But yeah, so under the hood I have a 2.4 liter VTEC flat 4 engine, a 6 speed manual transmission, 205 horsepower, 174 pounds of torque, um, front wheel drive, 6 speed manual gearbox, just went over that. It is, see if I can find, it's yeah, front wheel drive, weighs 3,000 pounds. So yeah, this car isn't necessarily a speedster, but I mean, it's really nice. We'll see how it is on the track. I hope that the suspension is sweet. We're about to find out about it. But, um, yeah, so, <clears throat> the 2015 SI might be one of the last True Blood VTEC Sport Coupes built by Honda. It had a look, the engine, and the transmission it needed. The refreshed Civic SI Coupe dusted off some of the old design elements and brought new ones, but it turned out to be a mixed feeling about it. It was a car bought for what could it do on the streets and not in the parking spot. The Civic SI showed a similar look at its new predecessor with a wide and narrow grille to the cool engine. To cool the engine, there were other air intakes in the apron, or apron, one for the engine compartment and two for the brakes. The designers installed the fog lights inside the side tubes. The raked windshield in was even more angled than the one on the five-door version, and the sloped roof design resembled the lines from the eighth gen Accord Coupe. The wing on the truck filled and completed the profile. Unlike other car makers who opted for two exhausts to make a stronger impression, Honda chose only one side pipe. Oh yeah, look at that! Only one pipe right there. How hilarious! But um, the interior was the one that needed some updates, at, and Honda did it. It installed bucket seats with two-tone upholstery. As for other Civic models, the instrument cluster was separated into two steps. Hold on, let me get in the interior, guys, so y'all can see what they're talking about. Let me sit my. Let me sit in here. Close the door. Alright, guys. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, as for other Civic models, the instrument cluster was separated into two steps. A tachom tachoma tachometer, whatever the fuck that is, behind the steering wheel, and the rest of the information on the upper display. But Honda forgot to install a turning knob for the volume, and thought that a touch slider should do the job. Indeed, it can do the job, but it was annoying, and everyone complained about that. Yep, guys, there's not no radio knob, knob so end of the world. But um, under the hood, the SI featured the same bulletproof K24 engine. Unlike other turbo versions of the Civic, it offered more low, more low end torque. The six-speed gearbox was fitted with a standard mechanical slip differential, and that is it for it. So let me step out of here. Let's get, let's get a look at that engine real quick. VTEC, it's better than his engine because I have VTEC. He doesn't, and he's very sad about it. But yeah, look at the engine. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, look, he actually spoke clearly, and I and I could understand him. Wow, trunk space. So yeah, you pr you could probably fit most people in it. Definitely not him because he is overweight by a lot. <laughs> but um, yeah. So that is it. Let's explode it. That is it for our first competitor. Let's move on to our next sports car competitor. All right, guys, we are back for our second competitor, the 2000. And 13, 14, 15, doesn't matter, they're all the same. Zubru BRZ GT86 FRS. Um, so, yeah, take it away. Alright, well, as he said, I have the 2013 Zubru BRZ. It has a 2 liter boxer engine producing 200 horsepower with uh, 200, uh, 151 pound feet of torque. Uh, its top speed is 130 miles an hour. It gets to 0 to 60 in 8.2 seconds. That right, is wait. shit! Yep, yep. It weighs 2,700 pounds. Uh, it's... I don't even know. I think it's front... Is it rear wheel or front, front wheel drive? It is definitely rear wheel. Rear wheel, yeah. Rear wheel drive. Guys, I unfortunately own one of these. I have FRS 2015. 
points. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of good for a first car. Yeah, I actually do own one of these. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm like that. Well, after hearing that, I'm, I don't, I'm not too happy about owning it anymore. <laughs> All right. The BRC was a joint program between Subaru and Toyota, and it was often named as as a what the fuck Toyobaru or or oh, Subiota. They're trying to be funny, yeah. I've literally never heard anyone call me. Yeah, me either. I've never heard anyone say that either. <laughs> Whichever works. Yes. But the result was a great handling car designed for sm smiles per miles. Toyota tried to make a comeback on the fun to drive car category after it cut the Supra, the I will drive Celica, and the MR2. It didn't have any. Uh, it didn't have any other vehicles to bring a smile on petrolhead's faces. Subaru, on the other hand didn't have the financial power to develop such a complex program of a new sports car. A deal was signed, and the Subaru BRZ, Toyota GT86, and the Scion FRS was born. Yeah. The low front end of the car was Subaru's merit. The flat four engine was shorter than any uh, than other than any other inline four unit. Since the front since the front end was short, the whole car seemed longer than it was. A low greenhouse with a raked back accomplished the mission to design a sporty vehicle. There were some styling differences and there were some styling differences in the car to differentiate it from Toyota, but mainly the but mainly the badges. The headlights and the taillights were specific for the BRZ and not connected to any design shown followed by Subaru. The two exhausts were placed on the left and right of the car on the sides of the center diffuser. Inside the low seating position was typical for a sports car. The dashboard was straight and not tilted towards the driver. Two bulges on the top dash covered the instrument cluster. A two air vents. Uh, what? Two bulges on the top dash covered the instrument's cluster. A two air vents. Uh, the overall, this has no clue how to speak English. Yeah, guys. But by the way, um, the 06 unit of the um, Civic Si is 6.7 seconds, so. Make two whole seconds faster than his, and then top speed is 155 miles per hour on my Civic. So again, um, that is 20 miles per hour faster than his. So yeah, I think the drag race should belong to. Well, how much does your car weigh? Um, 27. I haven't finished yet, by the way. Oh God, we have to hear more about it. It's the engine. Oh. The of its shitty engine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Under the hood, the two-liter boxer engine was was. Matted to a standard six speed manual, an automatic with paddle shift behind as an option. Unlike most of the Subaru range, the was offered exclusively with rear wheel drive. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, guys, so that is it. Now you know some information about our um, two competitors here. Should be a good one, and we will see y'all at our drag track. Hey guys, so we are at the news here on Car and Driver. This is a new segment we do where we just read off um, the news stories for the day. Um, so yeah, we're going to read this news story from all the way to, I think, December 29th because we didn't do the news on the 29th. We forgot to, but yeah. So yeah, start here. So the Bugatti Chiron is now the quickest car that Car and Driver has ever tested. Yeah, let's see. Does it tell us what speed it reached? 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds. And then it's 1,479 horsepower. It's top speed it reached. Hmm. Dialing a big. Uh, it doesn't really say. They wrote a whole lot of nothing. Oh, yeah, look at these specs. Holy shit. So its top speed was 261 miles per hour. They got that thing. Holy shit. But yeah, so. Would you rather? Which cars are you more excited about in 2021? Let's see what new debuts we had. Yep, we remember all of these, the uh, new Zubru BRZ or the Nissan. What car would you rather have? Uh, what car are you more interested in? Which one? The 22 Zubru BRZ or the um, Nissan Z? The Nissan? Yeah, me too, so we'll go Nissan Z. Oh, no one cares about the BRZ. The Hummer EV or the Tesla? Hummer EV, bitch. Yep. Yep. Bronco or the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon? Who gives uh, a shit? <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I know they're not comparing a Bronco to a Jeep to a Jeep Wrangler. Right? Uh, the, the Rubicon, yep, the Rubicon. Popularity. The Genesis GV70 or the Infiniti QX55. I actually like Infiniti SUVs, so I'm going with. No one gave a shit. 
<laughs> I guess people like Genesis. Oh, the Ram TRX or that Raptor. Honestly, we've seen enough Raptors TRX. <laughs> and people are Ford people. Volkswagen ID4, that's the electric or the Chevrolet Bolt. Eh. I'm gonna go with the Volkswagen ID4. I was about to say Volkswagen too, yeah. The Acura TLX Type S or the BMW M3. Bitch! Uh M3. <laughs> eh, okay, it was actually pretty close. The IX or the out the BMW IX or the Audi Q4 e tron. Ooh. I think the BMW what? Which one? The BMW what? IX or the Audi Q4 e tron. I'm going with the IX. No one gave a shit. It's not, uh, which one's the IX? It's um it's a new electric SUV, hybrid SUV. BMW. Porsche 911 GT3 or a Corvette Z06, the new one. If this is not 100% Corvette, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Oh, it was close. Who the hell gives a shit about the new GT3? Okay, the new Hyundai Elantra in or the new Civic Type R. Okay. Get me the fucking tag. What kind of fucking <laughs> question is that? <laughs> I'm going to go with the Elantra. Okay. <laughs> Actually, people were excited to see the launch of it says. But yeah, that was a good article, actually. Very interactive. So, Massachusetts to ban sale of new gas-powered cars by 2035. Wow. John Paul I Jr., that one. That was weird. auto racing champion, dies at 60. Rest in peace. 2021 Ford Bronco delayed. Not coming until next summer. For the third time, it's been delayed. How fun. The updated 2021 Lincoln Nautilus prices range from 42000 to 66000 well, you just look boring, sorry. Fed to change minor safety rules to aid drivers with disabilities. Ford ad promotes finished drawing response to the COVID-19 pandemic. And then Tesla's may soon be able to call 911. If your phone is, able to, is unable to connect to the emergency phone number, your network-connected Tesla may be able to complete the call. Wow. Um, Jeep building in-house customization facility near Wrangler Slides Gladiator plant. And then the Ford Fusion leaked images show wagon shape, wall-to-wall -wall screens. Oh, let's look at this. Wow, would you look at that? Who gives a shit? It does look like a wagon, huh? Maybe it is a wagon. And then Tesla offers three months of full self-driving if you buy before January 1st. Tesla offers three months of full self-driving. What? So it's like a, what is it? It's like a membership? Saudi Arabia woman who fought for driving rights sentenced to prison. Wow. So, Loyan I. Hathul was sentenced to five years, eight months in prison, two years after her initial arrest. And then Hyundai Kona is getting a rowdy end variant. Why is Hyundai making sports cars now? Why? Hello, bitch. I'm here. Bitch. The 2021 BMW M5 CS to have 626 horsepower and weigh 154 pounds. <sighs> Wait, I mean, what? what's the point How of having an M5? Huh? Yeah, 154 pounds oh. less. But what's the point of having an M5? Now there's a better M5. Now they're gonna make an even better M5, and then they're just gonna keep outdoing themselves. Yeah. So this lightweight M5 competition sport is coming soon with even more power, with an even more powerful twin turbo 4.4 liter V8. Um, see and hear the new Zuber BRZ Super GT race car. That's actually pretty cool. I actually don't know how that thing works. And then the 480 horsepower 2021 Ford Mustang Mach 1 handling pack costs $3,500. So I guess that will prevent it from killing people in crowds. So, I mean, that's, I think it's worth it. So, <laughs> this op, the option package includes sticky Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires and can be hand, could be how with both manual and automatic transmission models. Nice, nice. Oh, GM's recalling again. Who knew? So GM recalls the 2019-21 trucks. SUVs over front seat belt defect. More than 600,000 Silverado and Sierra pickups and Suburban, Tahoe, and Yukon SUVs will get front center seat belt assemblies checked sometime. And then 2021 BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe adds cheaper front wheel drive model. Starting at $36,000, the, the 228i said it was still a few hundred dollars more than the cheapest Beamer. The X1 crossover. And that is it for the 29th, guys. So, yeah. But before we go back to the actual race, I want to see this BRZ. Zubaru. Oh, with the race car? No, just the BRZ in general. I haven't seen it. Oh. So, let's look at it. 
Can I see the tail lights? Because up front, I don't really like. I don't didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's see. It literally looks like a Civic. It's actually a Civic. Tail lights look just like a Civic. Okay. I do like the old model better, but yeah, that is it for the news, guys. Now y'all are informed for the day, January 29th to the 31st. Happy New Year. Windows G, the sun. Alright, we're back on the track. Civic SI versus Zubru BRS. And, um, yeah, so it should be good. Oh, my God. Does not sound good. Oh, my God. That sounds hideous. You got the oh, stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I do predict that I will win on the track. It's, this doesn't make oh sense. My. It doesn't make sense, though. Forza has it wrong. I literally, I should win this. I have a faster to 60 time. It doesn't make sense. No. I'm not accepting that. That does not make sense. I have a faster to 60 time. Confirmed. Nope, guys. I am searching this you up. Two, what, isn't yours two seconds faster than mine? Yes. It's zero, my 0 to 60 time is faster than you. Mine is like 8.6 seconds or something like that. So, guys, I'm going to search up Civic SI. Zero to sixty. Six point eight seconds combined. It got confirmed by Motor Trend. That does not make sense. It's Forza. Okay, well, unfortunately, that has to go on the wall, the leaderboard, which is really sad. Yep, guys. Uh, if you all can drop subscribe or subscribe, because I I do everything on this channel, I make all the thumbnails. He doesn't do help me at all. He's a bitch. Yeah, I said it. Um, yeah. So yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, shit! I forgot to say. It was uh, yeah, we'll see you at the um half mile drag race. See you there. All right, on the half mile race, I don't think anything will be different. All right, zero to sixty is roughly his sixty right now. Guys, his GT FRS is just really not. This just doesn't make sense. Why is his Toyota BRZ faster than mine? Why are you not gaining? This makes no sense. It doesn't. I'm, s I'm starting to slowly reel you in. Very slowly, though. Uh, well, I'm very disappointed. What about... I'm very disappointed, to be honest. Um, yeah, guys. We'll see on at the Mile Drag Race. At the Mile Drag Race, I don't anticipate anything different. The front-wheel drivers let me down. That doesn't make sense, and I own this car, guys. I know that's not true. You have a Chevy Traverse, right? Yeah. Guys, imagine you have a Chevy Traverse. Lamborghini right. Traverse. I am pulling now, but it's a little too late. Well, I was. Alright, there we go. Now I'm starting to reel in, but it's definitely too late. What top, what's your speed right now? 130. Yeah, I'm coming back. Wow. Um, well, that doesn't make sense. I, I still think the Civic's obviously a winner because it's, it's literally faster. I just don't understand that. It has more power. It, 0 to 60 it has a better top speed. I just don't understand how Forza got all of that wrong at once. Again, <laughs> that's why everyone likes Gran Turismo over this. So, yeah. So, we'll see how at the track. Probably the Bears. It looks yeah, nice, the Bears right? are just like nice. So, guys, we're at the track. Two lap, see how we do. Okay, um, bam. Front wheel drive at its. Okay, so I, I found out why I wasn't winning. It's because um my VTEC wasn't turned on, so yeah. Oh, yeah. I had to switch on VTEC. Oh, this thing sounds hideous. Yes, it really does. It turns into a V8, <laughs> though, once you have VTEC on it. Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotta get used to driving this front wheel drive car. Why is front wheel drive car still a thing? You're just asking for oversteer. You know what would be the most hideous car of all time? That infinity you made mixed with this car noise or car sound. <laughs> well, my cousin made that. that. Poor infinity. He just didn't deserve that. He was like, ooh, I just got by by someone and he has money. Who? I'm probably going to look really nice after this. Nope. Oh my god, it sounds hideous. 
<laughs> Mass on ice. There's no way it sounds as hideous in real life. I'm just, I just refuse to believe it. Four, so they never have realistic car sounds. Well, I would rather own this than the BRC guys because it is Honda, very reliable. You don't have ever, and it's it is actually practical. It's pretty big, spacious. So you could store things in here. Uh, I imagine it has some decent um, gas mileage. I mean, it's not gas guns are obviously neither is the BRZ, but. I would also prefer it, to own the Civic. And it's not lacking anymore, I wonder why. What's not lagging? Forza. I just noticed that, it's not lagging. Alright. Coming on to our second lap. What, what if they added the Chevy Traverse in here? I'd be extremely happy. We would have to do a challenge with it. Yeah, we'd have to do Traverse versus uh, Hennessy Venom. <laughs> yeah. I don't think the Venom would win that, really. I just don't think it has the power to keep up with the Traverse. Nah, I don't think it does either. Alright, we are... And the interior of this thing are actually pretty nice. Like I said, see, look, it's actually pretty nice. But, yeah, but at least I do have a BRZ FRS GT86, so... I do have the odd one out of the three. Very good lap. Wait, I have the odd one. Oh, no, you have the odd one out of the three? I have the sign for us. Yeah, yeah, the sign. Yeah. Uh. Alright. I like the color on this thing. Yeah, me too. It's a nice orange. Everything about everything else about it is pretty hideous, though. Yeah, the styling's a little. I mean, it's bland. It's very Honda-like. Yeah, it literally today. looks like almost any Honda. Even that fucking SUV's advanced minivan look like this. <laughs> they all have like the same rims, the same headlights, pointy headlights. headlights. Yep. Yeah. And I'm not gonna tell him the time because that is a secret for the end. All right, you didn't see it, right? Wait, did you see it? No, I didn't. Uh, okay. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, you is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now it's time for the BRZ. Hopefully the BRZ, um, the BR86 can avenge. Well, it doesn't need to avenge. It actually won the drag race. Somehow. Yep. Uh, let's see. Yeah, guys, we'll see this. Alright. So I actually know how this thing sounds really well, so I'm going to judge if it sounds like how it does in real life. I will judge that. Uh -huh. Eh, oh, kinda. Shit, let's pay attention. The hell? No. Oh. What happened? No, I, yeah, I noticed, he, I noticed when you weren't paying attention. Oh, what the hell? Nah, he's driving, he's driving. He can go so poor on that first corner. No way. Gets a little off the track. He maintained it though. So Scion BRC. This thing at least sounds decent. Nah, eh. Sounds much better than the than the Civic. I don't know. I'd rather hear something that's unique and ugly rather than something that you hear in every other V6 model, or box, or N line. Literally all six cylinder My ears engines start bleeding. Yep. Look at the uh, Scion 86. Really nice car. Do you remember Doug DeMiro reviewed this against, or put this against his, um, R32? Yeah, he put the BRZ against the R32. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Fuck! Yeah, you should watch the video. That's why did I keep referencing the, the, the um, you, Scion the BRS. Speed video? Uh, on the Traverse? Oh yeah, definitely. Guys, I actually pranked him so hard. It was actually really hilarious, though, because when he clicked the link, it was not a Chevy Traverse video. <laughs> There's something uh, not very yeah. appropriate. <laughs> I got my, I, I got that, that YouTube channel banned too. <laughs> what YouTube channel was it? The old J and O Productions. 
Oh shit. So I'm anticipating a shit turn. Cause it's delayed, so every time I hear that I expect something bad. You not see it? Uh, I mean it was pretty bad, it wasn't that oh shit. I wonder who's gonna win this. I really want to know who's gonna win. Who do you think's gonna win? Um, I I I I hope the BSZ is gonna win. Yeah. Cause I mean it should, considering I want the drag race, which it shouldn't have. So. Yeah, I I, th I think the uh, BRZ will win this too. I'm driving it though. Yeah, I know. We always have to put an asterisk. Being driven by him. And it takes. Does he even break at all? You better time it right. The braking right here. What speed did you even reach there? Like 110? I have no clue. Alright, you're not allowed to oh. say it. Alright, let me get a picture. Oh, and the BRG is faster by two seconds. Yep, I'm guys. I'm not surprised. So we have a win in the BRG. Um, yeah, so we have clean sweep. And we will move on to the drag race for... We'll start with the main event. Sorry, we recorded these um, clips a little bit differently, but yeah. So y'all will see the um, introductions for our main event next. All right, guys, we are back and um, for our first challenge. So now for the main event, our first competitor in the main event is a 2016 Jaguar F-Type Project 7. Um, really nice car. Um, I, the only thing I don't like about this is this stupid ass. I don't know if this is an air vent or an air duct. Sends air to the. I don't know. I fucking clue what the hell that is. I don't know if that's for nostalgia of like a previous Project 7, whatever the hell, but yeah. <clears throat> so, um, under the hood is a 5 liter V8 engine, produces 567 horsepower, uh, 502 pound feet of torque. It is, I would assume, what is it, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive? I think rear wheel, right? And then, um, yeah, let's just look at it. I don't have any information to read because Auto Evolution, our site that we get our stats from, does not have anything on it. It's an 8 speed automatic transmission, 3,400 pounds. And unfortunately, that is it, so I will now try to stall by just talking about this car. Um, it's kind of hideous, actually, now that I think about it. I like the color, but I don't like a convertible. It just looks stupid, but um, I think it would look better if it wasn't a convertible. Let's look at the engine if we can. Oh, good old Forge does not last. Look at the engine. Can we at least get inside or open the trunk? You can open the trunk, but not the stupid engine. <laughs> That's um, worshipful. Oh, no, I exploded. There it is. And then look at that. It, literally nothing to see. No craftsmanship. It's just an engine cover on top of it. But, um, yeah, interior has white stitching all across. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice, guys. So, yeah, nothing really to talk about here. Oh, look at those big ass rims. Holy shit. I can't really see because they're they're um, black, but well, yep, that's it for this song. Now on to our second competitor. Sorry, guys. Okay, we are back for our second competitor. The 2016 Porsche came in GT4. Take it away, fat boy. As he said, I have the 2016 Porsche GT4, the Cayman. It has a liter flat six engine producing 420 horsepower and 110 pound feet of torque. It gets 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. It's got a top speed of 189 miles an hour. Can I put the engine? There you go. Huh? I was trying to get the engine. It weighs 2,900 pounds. Um, it's got a six, six speed manual. You get in six speed manual transmission. Mm -hmm. That's about it. It's actually it. now. Oh. No, now unlike the Project Seven, this car is actually on auto, auto evolution. Surprisingly, 
so I'm going to go ahead and read off of it. The GT4 category was the least powerful class in the FIA GT series. Its vehicles are based or its vehicles are based on cars available to the public. The Game GT4 was designed to fit in that category. Porsche had a long history of motor racing and it tar and its target was to be on top places in all ca class categories. While the 911 was well known in the GT3 and GT2 classes, the GT4 category was assigned to the Cayman. Even though the 911 had the FIA approval for that class as well, but the Cayman GT4 was built and it was a blast. Unlike its siblings, the race-inspired look was striking. Did you hear that, Jaden? What? They called the look striking. Yeah, why? Fucking hideous. Yeah. Striking as an uh. Oh, striking as an ugly. Uh, oh, I got well, you. Well, when you right. when you mean, when you say striking, you mean like, oh my god. Like it strikes you like, holy shit, what the hell is that? That's what I meant. <laughs> All right. The front apron was lower with a much wider center grille. The sides the side seals and the side intakes were larger. In that the car maker installed an adjustable wing. For the rear apron, it was exhaust that were not mounted in the metal. Inside, a roll cage was available behind the seats to stiffen the bodywork. The carbon fiber bucket seats offered high bolstering. Their center was upholstered by was upholstered with Alcantara on the center set. There is no infotainment system. Just a big square pocket for some racing equipment. Are you dead? No. Oh, you're not? The suspension was, no, the suspension was specially developed for the GT4 version. The 4 liter flexed engine was naturally aspirated and mated to a 6 speed manual gearbox. The closed ratio developed for chassis. The mechanical differential, the mechanical differential lock was standard as well. Yeah, we lost a lot, but that's just how it go, but just go. Are you done now? Yep. Alright. Alright, guys. We'll see you at the drag races. Yeah, see you there? That's it for our two cars. So, yeah. See you on there, bitch. Alright, guys. We are back at the drag track. Quarter mile. Let's see what happened. He should win. Now, this thing definitely sounds better. At least it's a little bit. Oh. And the horsepower is raining. He did get the start like I predicted, but. 11 second quarter mile. I think we both got 11. Mine's 12. Ha! <laughs> I get a picture of that. Amazing. Yeah. Very happy, guys, that I won that. Um, yeah, to avenge the horrible SI, but yeah, we will see you at the half mile. Yeah, sure. All right, so guys, we are back again. Hopefully, um, this is a little bit more competitive, and now it's just complete slapping. But yeah, we'll see. He gets the start, yes, and then as soon as he shifts, the power it comes back, and it bites him in the ass. Oh my god, the supercharger sounds so good. And is, will he at least make it close to the Porsche? Nope, the Porsche decided and doesn't want to race, so okay. <laughs> Hopefully the Porsche will redeem itself on this track. We'll see. Alright. So now we will see you at the mile. Alright, back for the final mile drag race. Hopefully that the Porsche can make this competitive, but... Doesn't seem like it wants to do that. Alright. And the Porsche had other ideas. Yeah, look at it. And yep. Hey, <laughs> it was holding for a little bit and then just dies. What speed are you at now? 120. Damn, the thing is actually eating your ass. Jaguar, don't go too hard on him. Okay, this is an actual s slaying. It's actual murder. It's a murder. What speed did you finish at? 
I didn't look. No. Well, guys, that was a complete murder. Almost a whole second. That is a murder, Porsche. You just got shitted on, Porsche. Do something about it. <laughs> Perfect game for weird in the game. Yeah, guys, we are back. Um, yeah, so it was first it was a clean, clean, clean sweep on the drag races. I mean, the Porsche just couldn't even do anything on the drag race. This is where it should be able to redeem itself. We could see if it does that. You. Oh, this sounds nice. Yeah, I know it's a nice V8, five liter V8. Oh, lag. Why does it? Do? Okay, at least they, okay, it could have been way worse, guys. I'm very grateful. Did it come in any other colors? Just wondering. Uh, yeah, it sounded good. I was trying to get out of control now. Oh! Whoa there, boy. Who's trying to get out of control now? Alright. Why is it all lagging now? You don't see this? It's like not. It's like frame skipping. It's like frame skipping hard. What the hell? Thank God I haven't crashed because of it. Alright, we're gonna cut inside. Side though, right? Huh? It wasn't lagging when you're driving the SI. Yeah, it wasn't right? lagging. It doesn't like Jaguars. Yeah, it just doesn't like the Jaguar, I guess. <laughs> Alright, nice turns, nice turns, nice turns, nice turns. Hopefully, that. Like I said, hopefully we can win this or the Jaguar can. Get a complete sweepage. I mean, I think it can. There's, there is a, lo a lot of straights on this track, so that's where it'll dominate the um, stupid Porsche. Uh, that's that's a big lag right there. Oh my god, the thing's nice. Interior. You have no visibility to the interior. I mean, you are the type of guy to buy a Chevy Equinox and then sell it in for a Traverse. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, you would you 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 would buy a Chevy Equinox just to trade it in for a Traverse, wouldn't you? Yeah, I do that. Yep. Because you are what they call gay for the Traverse. Oh, I'm not breaking! Oh, great. thank God, I didn't break on that. Okay, I'm starting to get wild right there. Slam on him. Rip it! Bam! Ah, right, good shit. Good shit, Mr. Jaguar. Mr. Jaguar. Alright, uh, let me get a picture of his time. Pretty fast. That's a, that's a fast car. I mean, if, I mean, shit, compared to your car. Oh my god. Your car better beat that. <clears throat> you bitch. <laughs> Spectate. Uh, let's see how this <laughs> motherfucker right. does. This motherfucker. And he is off. Class Porsche engine sound classic. Can't go wrong with it. Yep. Oh. <sighs> Alright. Oh! Oh!
track. Good copy right here. Oh, I just lagged so bad. You lagged, really? I really did. Like, everything slowed down for a second. He lagged. <laughs> sure. I did, bitch. Sure. Did he lag there? I would have clipped it, but I don't want to fuck up my time. Did he lag there, too? Of course he lagged, guys. I did. I'm not kidding, Jaden. Oh, he lagged there, too, guys. Come on, dude. You, did, you had a lag there. What the fuck was that? Oh god, I'm I'm very no, happy. I actually lagged right there. Okay. Guys, that now he's lagging. I Are don't. You this is a I'm okay then, Jaden. Well, I'm surprised. I'm, I don't know how you're lagging. I really don't understand how you can lag. What do you mean? You are on Xbox One X. They're frame. They're frame caps for a reason, so you don't have stupid. Lags like that. Unfortunately, the PC games do internet. not don't have that. Doesn't affect lag. Unfortunately, the PC does not come with our PC edition does not come with a frame cap. I'm using my internet though, Jaden. Well, the internet won't yeah, affect that. the lag. It might affect server ping. No, Jaden, I really was lagging. I'm not even kidding. All right, well, it was about to say it didn't really affect your lap, so. We'll see what he gets. And he got a... Oh! We got a winner! We got the Jaguar! The Jaguar! The Jaguar! The Jaguar! One. Yeah. Let me get a picture of this so I can write it down. So yeah, so the, if y'all are wondering, the Porsche got a 249. I mean, the, no, the Jaguar got a 249. The Porsche got a 252. Yeah. So we have a sweep. A sweep. Big sweep. Well, yeah, it was a sweep. So we had two sweeps today. So yeah, um, uh, Porsche actually got embarrassed today. Like, the Porsche got embarrassed really bad. Like, it's literally... It has 30 more performance points and it still got embarrassed. So yeah, pretty embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah, so that is it for this episode. We hope y'all like, like, and subscribe if y'all want more. And we will see y'all whenever.